Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are checking out my personal favorite top five Cydia tweaks for the iPhone or the iPod Touch. And for those of you that have just jailbroken your device, you're definitely going to want to check out some of these tweaks here. They also may work on iPad, but we're just focusing on the iPhone or the iPod Touch today. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these tweaks here. My first personal favorite tweak is Activator, and it's free in the Cydia store. Now, once you download it, you'll see this little icon on your screen here, and you can also access the settings from within the settings app in the dedicated jailbreak tweak section of your settings app there, and you see Activator at the top right there. Let's go ahead and tap on that. Activator will allow you to launch to specific portions of iOS with custom gestures or actions. And you can set up rules based on where you are in iOS, like anywhere, home screen, application, at the lock screen. So let's go ahead and check out one here real quick. I'm going to go ahead and set up an action for the triple press of the home button anywhere I'm at. And I'm going to make it launch to the phone's keyboard portion of the phone app. So when I triple press the home button here, you can see it's currently assigned to show keypad. So let's go ahead and try it. And just like that, it launches right to the phone keypad there. And no matter what tab the app was on before, we'll be taken to that location. The next week we're going to check out is Zeppelin. And that allows you to change your carrier logo on your device in real time to basically whatever you want. You can download different icon packs. But the idea here is if you go inside of the settings app and we enable it, as you can see, I instantly changed my carrier logo to a cloud. And we have tons of themes already installed here. As you can see, we can change it to the Dark Knight logo. We can change it to the regular Batman logo. And we can even change it to the Android logo if we wanted to. So it's a pretty cool way to change your carrier logo on the fly, just like that, no problem. And it doesn't require a respring or anything. Zeppelin's available for free in the ModMaya repo. So I definitely go ahead and check it out. It's worth a look. And it's free, so you really got nothing to lose. Now the third tweak I'd like to take a look at is OXO. OXO is a fairly new tweak that's a multitask switcher replacement. As you can see right there, we have nice card style layout for the apps and little icons beneath them. OXO offers a ton of functionality and you can swipe down to close apps. If you swipe over here, we have a row of toggles and you can kind of switch through those. You can even customize the order of them in these settings. Then we also do have music settings here, which is very nice as well. OXO is a very elegant tweak and I highly recommend it. It is a paid tweak, but you can pick it up for only $1.99 and that is available in the Big Boss repo. It's the best multitask switcher that is in the Cydia store, in my opinion, at this point. Now, if you're looking for a tweak to help customize your device, I definitely recommend Springtomizer 2. Springtomizer 2 is $2.99 in the Big Boss repo, but it's definitely worth the value. Springtomizer 2 gives you a ton of options to customize your springboard. So as you can see here, I have a pretty standard layout. And if we go ahead and go into the settings app here, where we will find the Springtomizer 2 settings, and I enable the tweak, and then I go ahead and respring my device. You'll see that my entire layout will change because I have set up some settings prior to making this video. So as you can see, I have a big block layout, oversized icons, no labels. And this is the kind of stuff that Springtomizer 2 allows you to do. We have a ton of different options here, and I can't go through them all, unfortunately. But as you can see, there are quite a few. Now, I did use the icons settings here to customize some of my icons to hide the labels and also to resize my icons to 120 percent you can hide newsstand you can hide the spring optimizer icon that comes with the tweak here but there are a ton of different ways to customize your device with spring optimizer 2 and it's definitely worth the 299 price tag now the fifth and final tweak i'm going to showcase here is intelliscreen x6 this is a paid tweak and it's 999 but it puts your notification center on your lock screen with a ton of other pages we can look at twitter we can also look at facebook we can look at our email we have an rss reader everything right from the lock screen we can reply to a tweet right here as you can see i'm making a video so i'm replying there hit 
the tweet button, it'll send the tweet, and then you'll see the notification pop up right there on the lock screen. You can also send a quick text message right here from the lock screen or anywhere else in iOS. You can set it up to use a custom activator gesture to launch this quick text message window. You can hide in telescreen X. You can bring it back down. And by default, it is in the down position like that. And if we go ahead and check out the settings app here, there are a bunch of options to configure for IntelliScreen X. Definitely too many to cover in this video, but I wanted to give you a good idea of how this works here. You can also arrange the position of the pages on IntelliScreen X, which by the way, do show in the regular notification center as well when you pull down from the top of the screen. And we can go ahead and customize our accounts. We can go in the notification center here and move the ISX ticker, which is this little guy next to the clock that shows kind of the recent activity from what we have set up. And we also do have other options down here below as well. There are way too many options to go over in this video, but Intel Screen X is definitely worth the $9.99 asking price. It's one of my favorite tweaks and I honestly hardly unlock lock my device anymore because I can do most anything right here from the lock screen with all the options available. Go ahead and check it out and let us know what you think down below. Hopefully this gets you off to a good start with all of your Cydia tweaks and customization of your newly jailbroken or recently jailbroken device. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.